Hey, we're back grade four flutes. Now we've done a lot of work in the last couple of weeks, right? We found our sweet spot with our mouthpiece, with our low. We've worked on our high. And remember, if you're struggling with either of those, go back and practice with the video. Maybe some of you are getting really confident and you're saying, hmm, I think I'm gonna go on and see what Miss Mello's doing next. Some of us may be working on this in class. So this skill is called tonguing. It is a very important skill and it uses your tongue, right? Everybody's got one. So we're using our tongue and it is an important skill for every instrument, not just for you. All of the instrument use their tongue to play properly. So, well, the instruments don't use it, but the people playing them do. So think about it this way. If you say the letter T, your tongue is hitting kind of underneath where your teeth hit your mouth. So say the word T, all right? And you go T, T. Now say four of them. T, 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 T. And you're feeling where your tongue is kind of hitting and then backing away. It's like, hello, and then it says goodbye. That skill becomes very important. So I'm going to show you what it sounds like. We do this in one breath. I want you to think of a loaf of bread. You're not going to eat the whole loaf of bread so an adult is going to, you know, take something and they're going to slice into individual slices. Well, we're going to take our air and we are going to chop it into individual notes. So I'm going to play one thing. If it's a big loaf of bread. Now I'm going to use my tongue to chop the bread or the air into individual notes. I'm not changing anything I did. I'm still getting my sweet spot. I want you to notice. I'm letting my tongue hit my teeth. Okay. Your goal is to do four of those in one breath. That will work your lungs. Maybe you take your hand off. Remember, we need more air for right? Maybe we challenge ourselves. Can we do eight tongues? So let's go back to the low. Now that's going to get you out of breath. Let's try high. So part one of this video is working on the tongue. Fourth grade, it might, you might say, Miss Mello, I can't do it. You can, you just have to practice it, okay? Look at my, watch my video, do it with me. Think about what I'm doing. If you had an x-ray machine, you'd see my tongue saying, hi, bye, hi, bye. It's going quickly in there, okay? The more, the more comfortable you get, the faster you can go. It's not magic. It's just practice, right? So those are the things you're going to work on on part one. Now on part two, we're going to talk about the proper way to hold your flute. Some of you did this in class, so it's review. And for others, it's going to be brand new. On your flute, I've given you some help by putting on, I'm going to put my flute way up. I've put on some white round stickers. And on the back, there are half stickers on certain ones. That is going to help you to know where to put your fingers. We hold the flute. What will seem really weird to you is actually how you hold it. So left hand and right hand become very important. So my left hand is going to go under. So I want you to find your left hand and I want you to put it like you're going to catch something. You're going to catch a ball. And then your right hand is going to maybe throw that ball back. We're going to throw it back. So we're going to catch and throw, catch and throw. Okay. So the most important thing is which one's my left and which one's my right. Okay. I want you to think about that. Now I'm going to look, my left hand is actually this hand. When I turn, it's going to look opposite. So think about what your left hand is. In your left hand, your thumb is going to go, I wish I had like someone to help me do this. Your thumb is going to hit 
that little half sticker and you only want to hit that sticker. And your fingers are going to stretch around to each sticker that you see. You're not, I'm gonna twist my wrist here, you're not going to use all of the keys. You'll notice that I'm skipping the first one, I'm on the second one, I'm skipping, and then I'm on, and I'm on, and my pinky has no job. So I'm going to show you this way so you can see easier. Okay, this is my left hand now. My thumb is on that half sticker. My wrist comes around, and I'm using only the fingers for the sticker, and I'm getting my wrist so that my fingers are almost straight. We don't want to have our wrists like this. We want to have them almost straight. Okay, hard to show this on video. My right hand, which is this hand, the thumb is going to go underneath. It's going to rest there. And I'm going to use the stickers on this side. One, two, three. And my pinky is going to go on that little guy right there. Hard to see which has the half sticker, okay? So we're gonna have, so this pinky has a job for now. This one does not, okay? So I'm gonna turn around and just show you, okay? So we have on the hand that throws the ball on each sticker and my pinky. So you notice I don't have my mouthpiece in yet. The mouthpiece always goes on the part with the two rings. I call them rings just because that's what I think they look like. Okay, that is what your hand should look like. Here's my catching hand. My left hand is going to catch. And my right hand is going to throw, catch and throw. It's really hard to show you this on video, but I wanted you to at least start, if we haven't done it in class, or give you a review, or give you a review. Okay, give you a review. You're going to notice if you put your flute straight up and down with our rings at the top, we have our thumb in the back. And we have, I actually, my sticker fell off the first one because I don't use them anymore. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And my pinky. Remember, that is the top. And then we're going to take our hands and go like this. Okay. It gets confusing. This is one of my longer videos. And then from here, I'm going to show you what the next step is, but not just yet. We're going to be ready for that in the next video. Okay, so you're going to work on getting your fingers on your flute in place and just holding it. You can put those rings right where your mouth is because that's where somewhat where your mouthpiece is going to be. So really today, it's about tonguing and getting comfortable holding the flute. Okay, we're getting to the tricky stuff, but you can do it. Practice makes progress. Okay, grade four, I'll see you in class.